Welcome to Chemistry Lover and in, in this video series we are talking about aromatic heterocyclic compounds and this is the fourth part where I will discuss about indole and quinoline and isoquinoline. So make sure that you watch this video till the end because lot of things and lot of re uh, reactions which I will be discussing in this video that uh, you may not get in normal textbooks and also make sure that you watch the previous video on uh, pyrrole and pyridine because uh, the reactions of indole and quinoline are very much similar to that so all the things I will not elaborately discuss which I already discussed so that video you should watch so let's start today's topic So uh, indole and quinoline you can see they are fused uh, heterocyclic compounds where one in case of indole one pyrrole ring is fused with benzene ring and in case of quinoline and isoquinoline one pyridine ring is fused with benzene. Okay so uh, from that you can observe that uh, in case of quinoline or isoquinoline this heterocyclic ring is electron deficient because it is basically a pyridine nucleus whereas for indole this heterocyclic ring is electron rich because it is pyrrole nucleus and uh, that's why the reactions of this compounds will be uh, mainly follow the same reaction as uh, which we have seen for pyrrole and pyridine respectively so uh, if we recall the reactivity of pyrrole we know that pyrroles are very good substrate for uh, undergoing electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction because they are electron rich. So, and we also know that they react from this 2 and 5 position, right? So, to give this product. But in, uh, and uh, if we apply the same logic, we will uh, think that in case of indole, we will get this 2 substituted product like this. But there is a possibility that we can get 3 substituted product and indeed we get 3 substituted product rather than 2 substituted product that is the reaction takes place from this 3 position. Now why this is uh, the case right because we know that uh, in case of pyrrole uh, the reaction always takes place from this 2 position and 5 position and not 3 and 4 position because uh, that goes through more stable intermediate and if the uh, property is the same then it should follow the same route right. Now to explain why in case of indole the reaction goes from 3 position we have to consider the 2 intermediates that can be obtained when attack take place from 3 position and 2 position respectively. So this is a prototype of electrophilic aromatic substitution on indole and you can see this is the intermediate for uh, when attack takes place from 2 position whereas this is the intermediate when attack, attack takes place from 3 position. Now if you consider the stability of these 2 intermediate you can see this should be more stable because here uh, the cation which is stabilized by this nitrogen lone pair. So basically for 3 substitution attack is taking place like this right. But for 2 at 2 position attack the attack should be like this. So when attack is taking place from 2 position it uh, somehow disturb the aromaticity of the benzene ring because this uh, electron of this benzene ring is also involved in this attack right. So to form this intermediate it has to disturb this aromaticity but for 3 position attack uh, the aromaticity of the benzene ring is intact so they, that's why this intermediate will be much more stable and the reaction will always go from the 3 position so you will not get this instead you will get this right so this is a thumb rule that in case of indole reaction attack always takes place from 3 position so we can uh, summarize like that so pyrrole reacts from 2 or 5 position but indole always reacts from 3 position this should uh, you should take with you while you are uh, writing down any reaction of indole right now let us see whether it is possible to get a 2 substitution in case of indole so for that we have to take this special substrate where you can see this 3 position is already blocked and only 2 position is free and if you do this reaction with BF3 you can see BF3 will make this a living group and electrophilic aromatic substitution occur in this case you can see uh, the substitution is indeed take place on the 2 position but we will see in later that whether it follow the same mechanism or, or some other mechanism because uh, the explanation which I gave just that why 3 attack always occur that cannot reverse right. 
so we will see that later but for now uh, how will you explain this product formation that when you label this with with c13 you can see a scrambling occurs uh, here and here that you get 50 percent of this product and 50 percent of this product that is this particular carbon is attaching to this so how you can explain this so this can be explained if we consider the reaction mechanism right so as i just said that first these two will form this lewis acid based complex so now this is a living group so you can see now at this uh, by assessment of this nitrogen lone pair it can attack here to give you this intermediate right now you can see this is a symmetrical intermediate and either this group can migrate or this group can migrate so uh, probability of migration of this carbon and this carbon are same because it is a symmetrical intermediate and depending on whether this carbon migrates or this carbon migrates you will get these two products and their possibility is 50 percent each right so after that you can see uh, this proton will go and you will get this product so here you get 50 percent isotope leveling here and you get 50 percent isotope leveling here so this perfectly explains why we get these two uh, products in 50 percent ratio now from that we can learn a very interesting and very important factor that although this position is blocked still the reaction is occurring from this C position only right if you write down the reaction by attacking from two position like this you cannot explain the formation of this product so this isotope scrambling proves that uh, whether this position is blocked or not that doesn't matter always the reaction will take place from C position and that is a very important point because it will help you to predict many reactions of this uh, indole chemistry so if we talk about other reaction the manic reaction which occurs for uh, pyrrol that will also occur for uh, this indole and uh, this when you treat this manic product with kc and this cn minus we will uh, remove this first here double bond will form and then michaelization will occur after that hydrolysis will give this product so these things i already discussed when i discussed about uh, pyrrol okay and this is another important reaction the reduction of uh, some indole derivative so here the hydroxy derivative and if you reduce it with lithium aluminum hydride you will get this product so here you can see only this OH group is reduced and the aromatic nucleus to aromatic nucleus, nucleus are remain unchanged or unreacted so you can explain the product formation like this so first this OH proton will be taken by LA so LA is basically lithium aluminum hydride so one of the H minus will take this uh, proton to form hydrogen then this complex will form now another hydride can take it and you will get this now you have more hydride sources so this hydride can attack here and it will form this now you can see this is a negative discharge and no, uh, no uh, uh, there is uh, no further possibility that another hydride can attack here so the reaction will stop here and after that if you do work up with H plus H2O you will get this product so this is how this product will form and the aromatic ring will be unreacted there are some more reactions the nitration is very simple and sulfonation is also the same reagent is used for pyrrole which I already discussed and Wilsner head reaction is also uh, also occurred for your uh, indole and uh, in this case this is good reaction for uh, the introduction of the CHO group because dimer and reaction has some uh, difficulties okay so after that this is another important reaction this is a uh, one for addition so this is a one for substrate michael this is michael acceptor so one for addition you will take to a and you will get this one so after that basically the two in all total is and you will get this product okay now uh, the interesting thing is uh, what happens if you have a substituent over here so you can see here the chemistry is totally different and first step attack is same that is one for addition type of attack will occur that is a four position attack will happen like this okay so again you can see although this position is blocked this position is blocked but still the attack is occurring from the C position so you will get this now you can see uh, as there is no proton so in the previous case it was a proton so this proton was taken up by this uh, negative charge and you get your you, you got your aromatic ring back but here you can see it is a high group right so uh, the proton abstraction step doesn't occur here 
and it just make so basically isomerization of this double bond happens so you can see this isomerization is happening there is another hydrogen so either in this case the enolate is this side but enolate can also isomerize to this side and now you can see it can add up over here to form a nice system thing. so here the aromaticity is destroyed and you get some other flow so while whether the uh, is there or not that uh, decide what will be the product so this reaction is very important now there is a very important question on the density of different uh, indole derivatives so these are three indole derivatives this is normal indole and these are two derivatives so uh, what are their basicity order so if we want to predict their basicity we have to first uh, consider their conjugate acids and their stability so these are the three conjugate acids now if we consider the stability of this con uh, of this conjugate conjugate acid you can see that this conjugate acid will be more stable because here this conjugate acid uh, this imine is uh, in hyper conjugate with this three hydrogen atom, right? There is uh, in other two conjugate acid, there is no such possibility of hyper conjugation. Now, in this case, you can see due to the presence of this methyl group, the starting material or the unprotonated molecule this is in hyper conjugation. So, this double bond is in hyper conjugation with this methyl group, but after protonation, this hyper conjugation is lost right and this is normal in those there is no hyper conjugation in the unprotonated molecule or in the protonated molecule so there is no loss or no gain but in this case you have a loss of stability so that means this conjugate acid will be more stable than this and then this so if we arrange them in order of their basicity molecule 2 will be most basic then it will be molecule 1 and last will be molecule 3 so molecule 3 is least acidic because the unprotonated molecule is much more stable due to hyperconjugation which is lost when it is protonated right so this question is very important now we consider about the decarboxylation of these four compounds so if you if you consider these two compounds where you have substituent over two position so the, in this case the carboxylic acid is uh, group is directly attached to the two position whereas uh, in so in this case basically it is it is like this so here another carbon is there and you have this OH group so in this case uh, the carboxylic acid is linked with this indole ring with one CH2 group and here it is directly linked to this uh, uh, indole ring right so when you heat these two compounds you can see decarboxylation occurs for this compound where it is attached to it one um, uh, CH2 group but no decarboxylation occurs for this compound now why this is so so we can explain it like this so first step protonation will take place to give you this so here you have two protons and here you have this O minus this NH plus so now you can see if this uh, push its electron here you will have a negative charge so it doesn't have significant stability but in this case if it take up a proton from here so what you will get you will get uh, this type of compound where you have hydrogen here hydrogen here and now you have here this COO minus here you have imine imenium now if it pushes lone pair and then it can again push and this bond can go here so from that you will get this so here you have two protons like this okay now you have a double bond here now this hydrogen can go and it can take up a proton to give you this aromatized product right so this type of mechanism is not possible for here so that's why uh, this will undergo decarboxylation and